Keep tables, Pedro Vasconcelos. Pedro, what's it been like uh, to play for BYU this season? Uh, you know, it's been good. Um, fall during fall was pretty hard. I thought because I didn't know a lot of guys, but then after I got close with the guys and. I don't know, I feel more confident, so it has been good just to be playing with the team. I really like the team, and I like our fans. I, I, just, I like playing the team. What's it like uh, as a Brazilian playing soccer in the United States? Uh, it's a little bit different just because they play more of physical soccer. So at the beginning, it was like hard to me, but after I uh, adapted myself, and now it's just playing Brazil. Do you, do you perf purposefully try and add some flair, or is that just how you play the game? Because you seem to bring a, bring a certain sense of creativity. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, no, that's just how I play. Yeah, I've always been like that, and I wouldn't change. I think I'm going to play like that no matter where I go. So, mm -hmm. what, uh, Where did you most often play soccer as a kid, and what was, what was that like? Uh, I used to play in Sao Paulo growing up, and I played for, like, this team down there uh, it's called like Hevel you know he just was like a old soccer player he's like really famous actually in Brazil and he got like this team together and I played for him he was just like like here except we play like on turf and stuff like that was it futsal uh, no it's just like regular field but turf okay and was that Rivelino or yeah, what yeah Rivelino okay. yeah he played in the World Cup in 1970s do you maintain contact with him? Uh, no, I haven't talked with him for the last like two years. So. Okay. How did you make it to the United States? Um, I have an aunt that lives living here, and I came here on summer of 2006, 2007, which was my sophomore year, and then I started play uh, club, and I met a uh, rider. And I went back to Brazil after like three months. And my coach invited me to come back. And the only way to get back to Utah was to exchange program. So Matt invited me to stay in his house for a year. So that's how I got here. When did you decide that you wanted to play for BYU? Uh, actually, my senior year, Matt was already a recruiter. So um, on December, oh, January, we had our tryouts. And he invited me to come. He's like, you should just go and try out for the team. And I did it, and I made a team. So awesome. How's the experience been this year? I know you've you've had increased playing time as the season's gone on. Yeah. Well, it's been good. I mean, it was kind of disappointing, but because we haven't like winning a lot of games, but uh, I think. Uh, How's the season go? I think we're getting better and better, so it's been a good experience. What was it like to start with Matt in the midfield <laughs> on Saturday? Uh, it was good, you know, because I always played with Matt, so I, I, I know him, I know how the way he plays, and I feel like very comfortable playing with him, so it's just playing back in time when we play club, so it felt good. Brazil uh, in the World Cup, I guess, how have they done so far in your eyes? Uh, well, I think they're the best in the World Cup right now. And I think if you keep playing like that, there's no way we're going to lose it. Okay. Did you watch the United States game this morning? Yes. <laughs> what what do you think of the U.S.'s uh, uh, drama? You know, you guys are getting better and better. But, I mean, I, against Argelia... I don't know. I mean, you guys score in the last minute. You guys would be lucky if you guys go to the semifinals, but I hope you guys would go far because I really like U.S., my second team. So. How often do you give uh, your teammates a hard time about Brazil and the U.S.? Uh, well, <laughs> pretty often. <laughs> well, especially because we have some players like Cam and Brady don't really watch soccer and they think they know everything so they what? come talk with me and I was like are you serious and then I start going off and so yeah pretty often as a Brazilian uh, do you have a one name 
nickname or just a name that we can call you? Should we just call you Pe or something? Uh, yeah, well, my friend, like, here on the team they call me Pe, but back in Brazil they call me Pedrinho, so, I don't know. Little, little Pedro? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of Tony Nicole? Uh... I don't know. The like, Italians are going to win. The Italians are going to win. <laughs> Down with Brazil. I don't know. I think uh, Tony's a good player, but... Is Tony, over, is Tony I overrated? I play for the girls team, you know. Mm, okay. Like, switch is soft sometimes. Is he, is he overrated? Huh? Is he overrated? Yeah, very. About as overrated I, as I Brazil and Robinho. I don't really <laughs> like him, so... I don't really even like to talk about him. Okay. Well, it sounds like team chemistry is at an all-time high. Thanks, Pedro. Yeah, yeah, welcome.